Hello, the Pioneer viewers. How are you doing? I hope you're healthy and well. As the Pioneer team, we continue to bring you the latest developments regarding the Russia-Ukraine war. In a moment, I will share with you a very important information from the front line. Problems with the Russian soldiers have been on the agenda frequently in recent days. So, due to these problems, Russian soldiers cannot advance on the front line. In addition, these problems have started to emerge even among the Russian soldiers themselves. So, an uh, unbelievable incident happened recently, and according to reports, there was a major clash between units of the Russian armed forces. It started with the Karel and a fight which resulted in the destruction of a Russian soldier behind the front line by his own comrades. Following this incredible event, Russian armed forces and sources are censoring the press. However, as the Pioneer team, we have reached the details about this incident. So, what are the details about the subject? Let's take a look together. Before moving on to our report, I would like to make a small reminder. As the Pioneer team, we continue to bring you the latest developments regarding the Russia-Ukraine war. So do not forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss our daily reports and explanations. I also read all of your comments on our videos, so please continue to share your ideas about our content in the comments. Tell us in the comments what content you would like to see on the Pioneer channel. And let's start if you are ready, the Pioneer reports. So, the war between Russia and Ukraine continues. While the Russian army is facing more and more difficult situations on the front line, the Ukrainian armed forces continue to respond to the attacks of the Russian armed forces with tremendous resistance. The resistance of the Ukrainian armed forces has worn down the Russian army considerably, and as the losses of the Russian armed forces, which are getting more and more worn out day by day, are increasing, they are in a very, very difficult situation in the terms of more Moral. And the demoralization of the Russian army is deeply felt in every part of the front line. So, in the past days, an incredible event took place. As I've stated many times in our previous reports, the effect of the problems experienced by the Russian armed forces is evident in every field. And this is also evident in incidents between the soldiers. There is a great distrust among the Russian soldiers, and the Russian soldiers do not even trust their own friends. The chaos caused by the situation is increasing day by day. And in the past days, Russian soldiers got into each other in a very interesting way due to this issue. So the reason was obvious. The Russian soldiers distrust each other. So, according to reports, the false intelligence provided by the Russian intelligence also has an impact on the incident in question. The incident reportedly took place in the Karachi Cherkess Republic of the Russian Federation. According to the allegations, there were claims that the Russian soldier would carry out a sabotage against the Russian army, and the Russian intelligence agencies did not investigate the authenticity of these allegations. And orders were given to the other Russian soldiers in the region. The content of the order was clear and the Russian soldier was to be destroyed. So, according to the allegations, the Russian soldier in question had previously been seen uh, buying materials to make improvised explosive devices. Sometimes he was even seen on the street taking uh, rifles to home. So, Russian intelligence had therefore flagged this soldier as a potential terrorist. However, the truth of the matter matter was very different because the Russian soldier in question was not a terrorist. On the contrary, he was a soldier stationed there to hunt down the separatist groups in the Karachai Cherkess Republic. However, Russian intelligence did not have any access to this information. As a result, orders were given to the Russian army and the operation to destroy the Russian soldier who was carrying out a secret operation for the Russian army started with a directive given by the Russian intelligence. So, according to the allegations, Russian soldiers raided the house of the person in question in the morning hours and destroyed the Russian soldier. However, there were other details that surprised the soldiers because there were many documents signed by the Russian army officials in the raided house. None of them were forged documents and uh, for the Russian soldier was taking order from the commanders personally and his mission, as we have just mentioned, was to identify and eliminate the separatists living in the Karachai Cherkess Republic. 
but because of the incredible mistake of the Russian intelligence, the Russian soldier was destroyed by his own friends, and there was a great shock among the Russian soldiers. So, following the discovery of these documents, Russian soldiers reportedly reacted strongly and insulted the Russian intelligence, and according to the allegations, Russian soldiers who blame Russian intelligence for the situation in question want people who gave these orders to be punished immediately. So far, no statement has been given and has been made on this issue, and the Russian intelligence has not made any statements about the status of the officials who ordered the operation. It is likely that no action will be taken against these officials, and the Russian intelligence has a wide scope of action. As the president of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin was once a member of the Russian intelligence. Despite their many mistakes, they go unpunished. So, Russian intelligence made a series of statements to cover up this mistake and the mistakes and statements made by the Russian intelligence. It was emphasized that the destroyed Russian soldier was actually a terrorist. And the statement in question are as follows. So, the person destroyed by FSB was found to be planning an attack on law enforcement agencies. He was not a soldier but a terrorist. He had infiltrated our army and the terrorist was also found to correspondence with the coordinators abroad. On Wednesday, a criminal case was opened against him for joining a terrorist organization. FSB personnel asked to meet with him several times, but he refused. As a result of his refusal to meet, we decided to destroy him. So apparently, the Russian intelligence still claims that the Russian soldier had links to other organizations. However, experts offer an incredible uh, perspective on this issue. One of the statements made from this perspective is as follows. So, Russian intelligence says that the Russian soldier who was destroyed belonged to a terrorist organization and infiltrated the Russian army. Maybe it is true, but what was Russian intelligence doing until this soldier infiltrated the army? And it seems that the Russian intelligence is again telling such a lie to find a cover for its failure and mistake. The main mission of this soldier, which was probably eliminated due to the lack of contacts in the Russian leadership, was concealed. However, Russian intelligence carried out such an operation in order to eliminate the criticism directed against it due to the recent losses. But this did not work either because the Russian intelligence has once again made a mistake. So... Ukrainian leader Zelensky had previously made the following statements about terrorist operations within the borders of the Russian Federation. Putin was talking to himself again and it was broadcast on TV. He blames Ukraine, a sick and cynical creature. He had been fed terrorisms for 20 years, but to him everyone is a terrorist except himself. He is the biggest getaway to terrorism and uh, he and his special services and when he goes, the demand for terror and violence will disappear with him because it is his demand nobody else's. But what do you think? Do you think the Russian intelligence has failed? Of course. <laughs> and will the problems within the Russian military grow? What do you think about this incident? Let me know in the comments because you know that I read and I care a lot about all of your comments.